Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Quick Tech Tips and Reviews. My name is Tony and with this channel we bring you guys a variety of tech related content. If this is your first time here, be sure to subscribe and hit that little bell down below so that you're alerted to when new content is being released. In today's video we're going to take a look at a specific question from a viewer pertaining to Unify Adoption. All right, guys, so before we get into the actual topic at hand, as you can see, the beard is starting to form, and we are in day 14 of No Shave November. And if this is the first time you're catching my videos this month, I'm participating in No Shave November to raise cancer awareness. I'm going to take a personal donation at the end of the month and add it to any earnings that come in through my Amazon affiliate links for the month of November and donate that money to a cancer charity. So please use those Amazon affiliate links help me out to raise some money. It's really for a good cause. All right, guys, so a few weeks ago, I did a video on how to configure LAN 2 on a Unify Security Gateway. From that video, I received a comment from Car Shooters, and he says, or they say, hello, thanks for the video. I'm planning to buy a USG and using both ports, LAN 1 and LAN 2. I would like to use LAN 1 with an Ubiquiti switch for my home network, and the other one, LAN 2, with another PoE switch for video surveillance, a Ubiquiti NVR, and 5G3 cameras. My question is, if I connect the Ubiquiti cloud key to the switch attached in LAN 1, will it see and adopt the switch connected in the LAN 2 in the second LAN? Thanks for helping. So the answer to your question is yes. And I believe I answered that in the comments, but I thought it would make for a good video just to show the process. So what I did was I recreated your scenario in my lab and if you look at the diagram, what I have here is a USG at the top. I have LAN 1 configured to a 192.168 network, and I have LAN 2 configured to a 10.0 network. Hanging off the LAN 1 network, I have an Edge Router X just functioning as a switch. I have a Ubiquiti Cloud Key plugged into that switch, and it's being powered by a PoE injector, but I'm not showing that in the diagram. And then also connected into the switch is my computer. So the idea here is to take a Unify switch, in my case, the US860 watt, and connect it to the LAN 2 port of the USG and get it adopted to the Unify controller. All right, so I'm signed into my Unify controller on the cloud key. I'm in the settings area, specifically on the networks tab. And you can see here the two LANs, LAN 1 and LAN 2, uh, LAN 1 on the 192.168 network and LAN 2 on the 10.0.0 network. So I just wanted to show you that how I have it set up on the back end. If we go back to the devices area, you can see the only device I have set up right now is the USG again on the 192 network. If we come over to the clients tab, we have two clients, the actual cloud key and the computer that I'm using to connect to the controller. And you can see both of these clients are on the 192 network on LAN 1. So what, what I've done at this point is I've taken the um, US860 watt switch and I've set it back to factory default. And you can see in the picture here that the status light, the indicator light is white, which means it's ready for adoption. So let me step away from the camera for a second and plug the switch into the LAN 2 port on the USG. And if all goes well, it should show up here on this page pending adoption. So I'll be right back. Let me get this plugged in. Okay, so the switch is plugged in and you can see here it showed up after a few seconds with a pending adoption status. Notice the uh, network, it's on the 10.0 network. So let's go ahead over to the right side here and let's click on adopt. And the status says adopting. It should provision shortly and then show a status of connected. There we go. Now it's provisioning and the final step should be a connected status. And there you go, guys. We have a connected status. And notice again, it's on the, it has an IP address of 10.0.0.7, which is on the LAN 2 network. 
And if you take a look at the picture now, the status light is blue, which means the switch has been adopted successfully. So that about wraps it up for today, guys. Car shooters, that was a great question. Thanks so much for the submission. I hope I answered your questions and eased your concerns about making the equipment purchases. If you guys liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to check out some of my other videos up above. Please remember to subscribe, like, and share. And use those Amazon affiliate links, especially this month, to help support my No Shave November campaign. To all of you who recognize the Thanksgiving upcoming Thanksgiving holiday, have a wonderful Thanksgiving. And to everyone else, have a wonderful week. My name is Tony with Quick Tech Solutions. As always, thank you for watching. See you next time.